In this video, I will show you how to change the author URL slug in WordPress. As you can see in this example, if I click on one of the post authors and then we look closely at the URL bar, you'll notice that the slug is this last part, as in my case, it's Nick. So in order to change it, we're going to be using a free plugin, which is called Edit Author Slug. So uh, first of all, let's go ahead and log into a WordPress admin account and then over on post, click on add new plugin. And then in search, just type edit author slug. Now go ahead and locate this particular plugin, install and activate it. Once it's done, over on users, click on all users, then locate the user for which you would like to change the slug. In my case, I would like to change the slug for user Nick. Then click on edit. Once it loads, scroll a bit down till you find the section. It's called Edit other slug. Right here, you can select one of the available options or you can create a custom slug, which I'm going to do in my case. Let's change it to Nicholas. And then let's update user. Now let's go back to the WordPress website. Let's uh, go back to the home page and let's click on the author Nick. And as you can notice, here's an updated slug. Now, since we've changed the slug, the old link will no longer work. In fact, let's try it out now. Let's replace Nicholas with Nick. As you can see, page not found. Now we can create redirect from the old URL to a new URL. And for that, we can use this specific plugin called redirection. So let's go ahead and install it. Once again, let's go to WordPress admin account, over on plugins, add new plugin and search type redirection. Once you locate this plugin, install and activate it. Then uh, once it's done, hover on tools, click on redirection. Now let's uh, copy the, the link. So the old link is uh, e-commerce tv.ca slash author slash Nick. And the new one is ends with Nicholas. So uh, whenever a user lands on this link, it will be automatically redirected to the new one. Let's click Add Redirect. Now let's try it out in another browser. It has no cache. Let's paste the old link. And yeah, it works just fine. So the old URL perfectly redirects to the new URL, as you can see right here. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful. And for more WordPress tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.